Hello everybody, Flip Mode Vlog here. It has been a very long while since I've uh, had the chat with you. Uh, but this is going to be a few updates on what's happening with me. Uh, as you can see, Phaser is still here, although unfortunately it is going fairly soon. Uh, I am swapping it for something else. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Uh, some of you know already, which is fine, uh, but just if you know what I'm getting next, don't say, uh, don't tell anybody, that's the first. Um, so, the reason why I'm swapping the phaser, I'm not selling it, I'm swapping it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the bike, it's not, it's not because of the bike really, it's because of me. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of four-cylinder uh, engines, I can work around and I can have some fun on them. Uh, but I've never been able to get the most out of it, you know, the most enjoyment out of the uh, four-cylinder engine. Uh, so the next one, the, my next bike is going to be a twin, uh, slightly, ever so slightly smaller engine size as well. But that's absolutely fine with me because the phaser is slightly too fast. Um, while the top end on the phaser is ridiculous, it does have, you know, it's 90-something brake horsepower bike. There is a shit ton of uh, top end. There's very little bottom ends, and mid range is kind of lacking as well. So, like with this bike, the engine doesn't really come alive until about seven, eight thousand RPM, which is perfectly fine if you know if, if if that's your cup of tea. It's not really my cup of tea. I prefer something that comes on much earlier than that. Uh, but again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the. It's not. It's not a fault of the bike. It's just me being me. Me simply being, you know, picky. And it would. This end. This bike would be perfectly fine if I just used it for commuting, like I used to do. Uh, but now I finished my university and I work from home, so I don't really have chance to go anywhere. Well, it's not so much chance to go anywhere, it's just an excuse to jump on the bike. And this was, this bike was absolutely... No, nope. nope. Right, that's what I was talking about. There's, that was full throttle by the way. That was full throttle just to, just to get him. Uh, so yeah, I prefer I prefer something with a little bit more, you know, low end. Yeah, the phaser has the power. It's just you have to drop, you know, a gear or two gears to get the power out of it, which is which is perfectly fine if you're commuting and you know and, and you know how to use that engine to its full potential, which I can't really. So I'm doing the bike the service at the moment. Um, well, that was oh yeah, I was saying I've I've, I've finished my uni now. Fucker stay writing as well. Well, wonderful. How fucking good is that? Um, I'll come back to you when I finish with the prick. Right, so hello again. It's still fucking behind me, but that's life, isn't it? Uh, yeah, going back, there's nothing wrong with the phaser. It's just it's not a bike for me. And now that I don't have to commute anywhere, pretty much. I don't have to, you know, do stupid miles to work and, you know, and union and stuff like this. It stopped making sense to have this bike. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, this bay is kind of shy. It's like people fucking parking on double yellows, which obviously, you know. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the phaser on the town. It's absolutely, it's brilliant mile muncher. It will do and ridiculous miles in one day and you won't feel it because it is really, really comfortable and the engine is smooth. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Well, there's a, there's a place where I can get him though, soon, so... Come on, come on, come on, come on... Turn red... Oh, for f really? 
thank you. There we go. That's dealt with. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the phaser. It's a lovely bike. It does what I need it to do. The MPG is all right. I can't complain about that. Comfy, you know, it sounds brilliant with the Dalco exhaust as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the story of everything at the moment. So I'm working at home. I don't really have that much of a chance to get anywhere. Okay. Um, if you really think you can win, nope. Well, I'm going to uh, stay with you for this because um, fucking lorry wants to race. What was that all about then? Also, that was a wheelie. Accidental one, not, not a deliberate one, mind you. I've done it accidentally, so shut up. Anyway, I'm signing off. See you next time. Well, speak to you next time.